Prepare to dive into the eerie world of Scottish folklore as we unveil 10 legendary monsters that lurk in its shadows. How many of these mythical beasts do you think will be new to you? Drop your guesses in the comments below and let's see if you've heard of more than just one. Immerse yourself in the chilling tales of the Scottish borders, where the ancient stones of ruined castles and towers bear silent witness to the malevolent mischief of the Red Caps. These maleficent creatures, notorious throughout Scottish folklore, are far from your typical fairy tale goblins. With their uncanny speed and formidable strength, they embody the very essence of wickedness and deceit, making them a fearsome topic of conversation in the dimly lit taverns of old Scotland. The red caps derive their name from their distinctive headwear, caps dyed a deep crimson hue with the blood of their unfortunate victims. These gruesome trophies serve as a stark reminder of their lethal nature as the red caps are compelled to kill. Should the blood on their caps dry out, they would meet their own untimely demise. It's a macabre cycle that sustains their existence and fuels their relentless pursuit of prey. These sinister creatures take refuge amidst the crumbling ruins that dot the landscape of the Scotland-England border lying in wait for unsuspecting travelers to cross their path. With their ferocious speed, they are upon their victims in the blink of an eye, attacking with razor-sharp teeth and claws. Despite their small stature, the Red Caps possess an unnatural strength that belies their size, easily overpowering those who are unfortunate enough to encounter them. Yet for all their cruelty, the Red Caps are not entirely without their vulnerabilities. They possess a profound aversion to all things holy, and tales abound of quick-thinking victims warding off these malevolent beings with words of scripture or the sign of the cross. It is said that the mere utterance of religious phrases can send the red caps fleeing, their cries of frustration echoing through the ruins as they vanish into the shadows. The lore of the red caps serves as a cautionary tale a stark reminder of the dangers that lurk within the untamed wilderness of the Scottish borders. It speaks to the age-old struggle between good and evil and the power of faith and resilience in the face of unimaginable terror. For generations, these stories have been passed down, captivating the imaginations of young and old alike, ensuring that the legend of the Red Caps endures as a compelling chapter in the rich tapestry of Scottish folklore. So, the next time you find yourself wandering through the hauntingly beautiful ruins of the Scottish borders, tread carefully and keep your wits about you. For in the shadows of the ancient stones, the red caps lie in wait, ever eager to add another crimson cap to their gruesome collection. Embark on a journey through the misty locks and rivers of Scotland, where ancient myths whisper of mysterious creatures that dwell beneath the water's surface. Among the most captivating and enigmatic of these beings is the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water spirit woven into the very fabric of Scottish folklore. The tales of the Kelpie have been passed down through generations, painting a picture of a creature as complex as it is elusive, capable of both kindness and malevolence. With the power to transform its appearance, the Kelpie often manifests as a magnificent horse, its coat glistening in the sunlight as it grazes near the water's edge. To the unsuspecting eye, it appears as a gentle and inviting creature, stirring a sense of awe and admiration. But beware, for this is where the Kelpie's deception begins. Its true intentions are far from benevolent, as it seeks to lure humans, particularly young and impressionable children, to climb upon its back. The moment a person touches the Kelpie, they find themselves ensnared by a force as unyielding as the tides. The Kelpie's skin becomes adhesive, trapping its victim in a deadly embrace. With a swift and powerful motion, the Kelpie then plunges into the depths of the water, dragging its prey beneath the surface to meet a tragic end. The locks and rivers become the final resting place for those ensnared by the Kelpie's deception, their fate sealed by the water spirit's merciless grip. 
Yet the lore of the Kelpie is not solely rooted in malice. Some stories speak of these creatures using their strength to perform acts of good, aiding in the construction of bridges and carrying heavy loads with ease. In these tales, the Kelpie emerges as a guardian of the waters, protecting its domain from those who would seek to do it harm. The Kelpie's dual nature is reflective of the untamed and unpredictable spirit of the waterways it inhabits. It serves as a reminder of the respect that must be afforded to the natural world and the dangers that lie in wait for those who fail to heed this warning. The Kelpie encapsulates the beauty and brutality of nature, a creature of contradictions that has captured the imaginations of those who hear its tales. The allure of the Kelpie's lore lies in its ability to blend the boundaries between reality and myth, leaving those who delve into its stories pondering the mysteries of the waterways. So as you stand by the edge of a loch or river in Scotland, take a moment to gaze upon the waters and ponder the tales of the Kelpie. And remember, in the land of myths and legends, things are not always as they seem and the Kelpie waits in the shadows, a timeless enigma of Scottish folklore. Delve into the enigmatic waters of Loch Ness, a deep and ancient lake nestled in the rugged highlands of Scotland, where a legend as old as the hills themselves continues to captivate the world's imagination. The Loch Ness Monster, affectionately known as Nessie, is a creature shrouded in mystery and folklore, her tales echoing through the ages and across the continents. She represents a captivating blend of myth, science, and the irresistible allure of the unknown. Nessie is often described as a creature of immense size, with a long serpentine neck and a body that glides gracefully through the water. Her skin is said to be a murky shade of grey or green, and her eyes, it is told, have a compelling and mysterious gaze. The legend of Nessie is not a modern fabrication. Historical accounts dating back over a thousand years tell of a mysterious beast in the waters of Loch Ness. The first recorded sighting of Nessie dates back to the year 565 AD, when St. Columba, a monk from Ireland, encountered a giant beast in the River Ness, which flows out of the loch. The creature had reportedly been terrorizing the local population, and in a brave act of faith, St. Columba confronted the beast, banishing it to the depths of the loch with the power of his words. This encounter marked the beginning of the Nessie legend, setting the stage for centuries of speculation and fascination. Over the years, countless individuals have claimed to have seen Nessie, their accounts varying but often describing a creature of significant size and power. Some believe Nessie to be a prehistoric creature, perhaps a plesiosaur, that has somehow survived into the modern era. Others speculate that she may be a type of unknown aquatic animal or even a giant eel. The mystery of Nessie's true identity only adds to her allure, capturing the imaginations of both locals and visitors from around the world. Numerous expeditions have been undertaken in an attempt to uncover the truth behind the Loch Ness Monster. Scientists and researchers have utilized a variety of tools and technologies, from sonar to underwater cameras, in their quest to solve the mystery. Yet despite these efforts, Nessie remains an elusive enigma, her presence in the loch suggested by tantalizing glimpses and intriguing sonar readings, but never conclusively proven. The lore of the Loch Ness Monster is as deep and mysterious as the loch itself. She represents the timeless human fascination with the unknown and the unexplained, a living piece of folklore that continues to inspire wonder and curiosity. Whether she is a prehistoric creature, an unknown species, or a product of myth and imagination, Nessie holds a special place in the hearts of those who are drawn to her story. So the next time you find yourself on the shores of Loch Ness, Gaze upon the tranquil waters and let your imagination roam free, for you are in the presence of a legend, and Nessie's story is one that continues to unfold with each passing day. Embark on a journey into the heart of Scottish folklore, 
where the line between reality and fantasy blurs, giving rise to tales of mystical beings and enchanted lands. In this realm of legends and myths, the Bashan, also known as the Bogan, stands out as a particularly enigmatic and mischievous character. With a reputation for cunning and deceit, the Bashan has captivated the imaginations of generations, weaving a complex tapestry of stories and adventures. Described as a type of goblin or malevolent fairy, the Bashan is known for its shape-shifting abilities, allowing it to take on various forms to suit its whims and deceive unsuspecting humans. From a benign-looking animal to a fellow human traveler, the Bashan's disguises are as numerous as they are deceptive, but no matter the form it takes, the Bashan's intent is always to lead astray, create mischief, and revel in the confusion and chaos it sows. The lore of the Bashan is rich and varied, with countless tales recounting its trickery and cunning. One common theme in these stories is the Bashan's penchant for leading travelers off their path, taking them on wild and disorienting journeys through the dense Scottish forests and rugged landscapes. Those unlucky enough to cross paths with a Bashan often find themselves lost and disoriented at the mercy of this capricious creature. But the Bashan's mischief is not limited to mere pranks and misdirection. In some tales, the Bashan's actions take a darker turn, resulting in real danger and harm to those it encounters. From sabotaging equipment to causing accidents, the Bashan's antics serve as a reminder that not all creatures of folklore are benign and that the natural world is full of hidden perils. Yet, despite its reputation for mischief and malevolence, the Bashan is also a creature of complexity and contradiction. Some stories suggest that the Bashan is not entirely heartless and that it is possible to earn its respect and even friendship. Those who manage to outwit the Bashan or show it kindness may find themselves rewarded with gifts or assistance, a rare glimpse into the softer side of this elusive creature. The allure of the Bashan's law lies in its ability to embody the dual nature of the natural world, where beauty and danger coexist, and nothing is ever quite as it seems. It serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us to be wary of the unknown and to approach the mysteries of the world with both wonder and caution. So as you delve into the stories and legends of the Scottish Highlands, keep your wits about you and your eyes wide open, for the Bashan lurks in the shadows ever ready to lead you astray with its cunning and mischief. And remember, in the land of folklore and legend, the Bashan is king, and its stories are as timeless and enigmatic as the misty landscapes of Scotland itself. Immerse yourself in the mystique of Scottish folklore, where the rivers and shores teem with beings as ancient as the rugged landscape itself. Among these captivating entities is the Shelly Coat, a water spirit known for its playful antics and distinctive appearance. The lore of the Shelly Coat is as rich and intriguing as the culture from which it originates, a tapestry of stories and traditions woven through the centuries. The Shelly Coat is named for its unique attire, a coat adorned with shells that clatter and rattle as it moves. This characteristic sound serves as both a signature and a warning. For those who hear the rustling of shells, know that a Shelly Coat is near. With its mischievous nature and love of play, the Shelly Coat is often depicted as a trickster, delighting in leading humans astray and reveling in their confusion. Despite its playful demeanor, the Shelly Coat is not malicious. Unlike some other beings of Scottish folklore, the Shelly Coat's tricks are meant in jest, a way to engage with the human world and bring a touch of the supernatural to the mundane. Stories tell of the Shelly Coat hiding objects, mimicking sounds, and even leading travelers in circles, all while remaining just out of sight, a hidden observer of the chaos it creates. Yet there is also a mysterious aura that surrounds the Shelly Coat, a sense of ancient wisdom and connection to the natural world. This creature, born of water and earth, serves as a guardian of its domain, 
watching over the rivers and shores with a keen and discerning eye. Those who respect the Shelly Coat and its habitat may find themselves in favor of this enigmatic being, while those who show disregard may find themselves the target of its playful retribution. The Shelly Coat, in all its complexity, embodies the dual nature of folklore itself. It is at once playful and serious, benign and cunning, a creature of both land and water. Its stories serve as a reminder of the importance of balance and respect, of the need to live in harmony with the natural world and the beings that inhabit it. So as you explore the lore of the Scottish Highlands, keep your ears attuned to the sound of rustling shells and your mind open to the possibilities of the unseen world. For in the realm of the Shelly Coat, nothing is quite as it seems, and the line between reality and myth is as fluid and unpredictable as the rivers and shores it calls home. The Shelly Coat awaits, a playful spirit of water and earth, ready to share its stories with those who dare to listen and learn. Journey to the windswept coasts and misty highlands of Scotland where ancient tales and folklore are as much a part of the landscape as the rolling hills and rugged cliffs. Here in this land steeped in tradition and mystery dwells the Nuklavi, a creature of nightmare and dread, whose lore has frightened of those brave enough to speak its name. The Nuklavi, a being of malevolence and terror, is no ordinary creature of folklore. It is a fusion of man and horse, a monstrous amalgamation with a skinless body that reveals pulsating muscles and flowing blood. Its head is enormous and it breathes toxic fumes that wilt crops and sicken livestock. The Nuclear V's malevolent intent is clear and its very presence brings disease and death. Legend tells that the Nuclear V's origins are tied to the sea, from whence it emerges to unleash its wrath upon the land. Its presence is feared by all, and tales of its cruelty abound. It is said to be responsible for epidemics and droughts, for blighting crops and poisoning wells. The Nuclear V is a harbinger of disaster, a creature to be feared and avoided at all costs. The Nuklavi's lore is rich with tales of its cruelty and the dread it inspires. It is relentless in its pursuit of victims, and once it has set its sights on a target, there is little that can be done to escape its wrath. It is a creature without pity or mercy, driven by a malevolent force as ancient as the sea itself. Yet even in the face of such terror, the people of Scotland have found ways to protect themselves from the Nuklavi's wrath. Folklore speaks of charms and rituals, of sacred words and protective symbols that can ward off the creature and keep it at bay. The Nuklavi, for all its power and terror, is not invincible. The lore of the Nuklavi serves as a cautionary tale a reminder of the forces of nature that lie beyond our control. It is a creature that embodies the primal fears of humanity, a nightmare made flesh that haunts the shadows and the sea. The Nuklavi's tales are passed down through generations, a dark and chilling legacy that continues to captivate and terrify. So as you delve into the folklore of Scotland, remember the tales of the Nuklavi, the skinless terror of the sea. Remember the dread it inspires and the cautionary tales it brings. For in the land of myths and legends, the Nuklavi stands as a testament to the dark and mysterious forces that dwell just beyond the veil of reality, waiting to emerge and remind us of the power and terror of the unseen world. Immerse yourself in the haunting tales of Scotland, a land steeped in ancient folklore and captivating legends. Among these tales lies the lore of the Washerwoman, also known as the Benie or the Washer at the Ford, a spectral figure that sends chills down the spines of those who dare to speak of her. With her eerie presence and ominous activities, the washerwoman holds a special place in Scottish folklore, embodying the mysteries of life, death, and the hereafter. The washerwoman is often described as an old haggard woman, cloaked in a green or white robe, her appearance ghostly and otherworldly. 
She is typically found by the side of a stream or river, kneeling at the water's edge, washing blood-stained clothing or the burial shrouds of those destined to die soon. Her presence is considered an omen, a chilling foreshadowing of impending death and sorrow. The tales of the washerwoman are passed down through generations, with numerous variations and interpretations. Some believe her to be a type of banshee, a messenger from the other world with a connection to ancient Celtic beliefs and traditions. Her actions, washing the clothes of the soon-to-be deceased, are seen as a preparation for their journey to the afterlife, a ritual steeped in symbolism and meaning. The washerwoman is not just a passive harbinger of death. She is also believed to possess knowledge of the future and the fate of those she encounters. Brave souls who happen upon her while she works may attempt to engage her, seeking answers and insights into their destiny. However, the washerwoman is known to be elusive and cryptic, her responses filled with riddles and ambiguity. Legend has it that if one is daring enough to approach her and swiftly seize the clothing she is washing, they can force her to grant them a wish or reveal the future. But beware, for the washerwoman is also known for her cunning and trickery, and any interactions with her carry the risk of unforeseen consequences. Despite her ominous activities and chilling presence, the washerwoman also embodies the cycle of life death and rebirth. She serves as a reminder of the transient nature of life and the inevitability of death, urging those who hear her tales to live with intention and awareness. Her law invites contemplation and respect for the mysteries of existence, encouraging a balance between the fear of the unknown and the acceptance of fate. As you delve into the rich tapestry of Scottish folklore, let the tales of the washerwoman captivate your imagination and stir your sense of wonder. Her stories, filled with mystery and awe, serve as a bridge between the seen and unseen worlds, reminding us of the delicate balance between life and death and the enduring power of ancient legends. In the land of mist and legend, the washerwoman awaits. Her ghostly presence a haunting reminder of the mysteries that lie beyond the veil of reality. The Gilly Doo, a creature of lore and legend, weaves a tale as intricate as the branches of the ancient trees he protects. In the dimly lit corners of the Scottish woodlands, he moves with a grace and stealth that belies his formidable presence. His attire, a patchwork of leaves and moss, allows him to blend seamlessly into his surroundings, becoming one with the forest he so fiercely guards. With a deep and abiding connection to nature, the Gilly Doo serves as a steward of the wilderness, ensuring the balance of the ecosystem is maintained. He has a particular affinity for the birch trees, often choosing to reside near them and bestowing his protection upon these graceful beings. His love extends to all creatures of the forest, from the rustling leaves of the trees to the scurrying animals that find shelter in their shade. The Gilly Doo watches over them with a protective gaze, ensuring their safety and well-being. Yet beneath his nurturing exterior lies a creature shrouded in mystery. The Gilly Doo is a master of concealment, his presence known to only a few. He is a whisper in the wind, a rustle in the leaves, a shadow in the twilight. To catch a glimpse of him is to be granted a rare and fleeting connection to the magic of the forest. Those fortunate enough to see the Gilly Doo describe him as a small, ethereal figure, his features obscured by the foliage that adorns him. He exudes a sense of calm and mystery, inviting those who encounter him to ponder the secrets of the natural world. The stories told of the Gilly Doo speak of his benevolence, particularly towards children who lose their way in the woods. He is their guardian, their protector, guiding them gently back to safety with a kindness that knows no bounds. His love for children is pure and untainted, a testament to his role as a guardian of innocence and purity. 
But make no mistake, the Gilly Doo is not a creature to be trifled with. He is wary of adults, especially those who threaten the sanctity of his beloved forest. To those who would bring harm to his realm, the Gilly Doo is a formidable opponent, using his mastery of the woods to lead them astray, confounding their paths until they retreat, leaving the forest and its inhabitants in peace. As a guardian of the natural world, the Gilly Doo also serves as a poignant reminder of our responsibility to the environment. In a time where the balance between nature and humanity is precarious, the law of the Gilly Doo calls us to reflect on our actions and their impact on the world around us. He challenges us to live in harmony with nature, to protect and preserve the delicate ecosystem that he so lovingly guards. In the realm of Scottish folklore, the Gilly Doo stands as a beacon of mystery and protection, a guardian spirit intertwined with the very fabric of the forest. His tale is a call to all who hear it to find the magic hidden in the heart of the woods and to protect the sacred balance of nature. In the shadowed glades and whispering trees of Scotland, the Gilly Doo waits, a protector of the forest and a mysterious figure in the tapestry of law that envelopes this ancient land. Venture to the remote and majestic landscapes of Scotland, where tales of mythical creatures and ancient legends echo through the highlands and glens. Here, nestled amid the rugged beauty, lies Loch Morar, a deep and enigmatic body of water that is home to one of Scotland's lesser known but equally captivating mysteries, the Loch Morar Monster, also known as Morag. Loch Morar, with its pristine waters and secluded location, provides the perfect backdrop for tales of the mysterious and the magical. And it is in these depths that Morag is said to reside, a creature of legend that has captured the imagination of locals and visitors alike for generations. Described as a large, serpent-like beast, Morag is often portrayed with a long, sinuous body, dark in color, and with humps that rise and fall gracefully above the water's surface. The tales of Morag are woven into the fabric of local lore with sightings dating back over a century. Those who claim to have encountered the creature speak of a sense of awe and wonder, mixed with a touch of fear at the sight of such a formidable being. Some describe Morag as a shy and elusive creature, while others tell of more dramatic encounters with the beast rising up from the depths, its presence undeniable and its power palpable. Despite its mysterious nature, Morag is more than just a creature of the deep. In local folklore, the Loch Mora monster holds a special place, serving as a symbol of the untamed and mystical qualities of the Scottish Highlands. Morag embodies the spirit of the wild, the unknown and the magical, reminding all who hear its tales of the mysteries that lie beneath the surface of the world around us. Over the years, the lore of Morag has only grown fueled by the accounts of those who claim to have seen the creature and the sense of mystery that surrounds Loch Mora itself. Scientific expeditions and investigations have sought to unravel the truth behind the tales, with some suggesting that Morag could be a remnant of a prehistoric creature or an unknown species yet to be discovered. Yet, despite these efforts, the Loch Mora monster remains an enigma a creature of legend that defies easy explanation. For those who believe in its existence, Morag is a living connection to the ancient world, a being that has survived the passage of time and the changes of the modern world. For skeptics, the tales of Morag serve as a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of the mysterious and the unknown. As you delve into the lore of the Loch Morar monster, let your imagination roam free, exploring the depths of Loch Morar and the tales of Morag. Whether a creature of flesh and blood or a phantom born of legend and lore, Morag stands as a captivating presence in the tapestry of Scottish folklore, a symbol of the wild and the wondrous, and a reminder of the mysteries that lie waiting to be discovered in the heart 
of the Highlands. In the rugged coastlines and mist-shrouded islands of Scotland, a timeless tale weaves through the fabric of local folklore, capturing the hearts and imaginations of all who hear it. This is the story of the Selkie, a mythical creature of the sea, shrouded in mystery and enchantment. With the ability to transform from seal to human, the Selkie exists in a realm between two worlds, embodying the untamed spirit of the ocean and the vulnerability of the human soul. The lore of the Selkie is particularly rich in the Orkney and Shetland Islands, where the sea's ebb and flow have shaped the lives and beliefs of the inhabitants for centuries. In this windswept landscape, the Selkie holds a special place in the hearts of the locals serving as a symbol of the deep, unbreakable connection between the land and the sea. Selkies are believed to be creatures of great beauty and grace, with their seal forms being indistinguishable from other seals that populate the Scottish waters. However, it is in their human form that the true magic and tragedy of the Selkie myth comes to life. Legend has it that on certain nights, under the cover of darkness, Selkies shed their seal skins and emerge from the ocean in human form. With features that reflect the wild beauty of the sea and eyes filled with the depth of the ocean's mysteries, Selkies in their human guise are said to possess an allure that is impossible to resist. They dance and sing on the shores, free from the constraints of their seal forms, basking in the ephemeral joy of their human existence. However, the heart of the Selkie lore lies in the bittersweet tales of love and loss, freedom and captivity. It is said that if a human were to find and hide a Selkie's shed seal skin, the Selkie would be bound to stay on land, often becoming a spouse and forming deep bonds with their human family. Despite the love and connections made on land, the Selkie's heart forever longs for the sea, creating a poignant undercurrent of yearning in these tales. The stories often unfold with the Selkie's inevitable discovery of their hidden seal skin, sometimes years or even decades after it was taken. Faced with the heart-wrenching choice between their life on land and their true nature, the Selkie is drawn irresistibly back to the sea. In most tales, they don their seal skin once again and disappear beneath the waves, leaving behind a trail of sorrow and unspoken words. Yet the Selkie myth is not just a tale of sorrow and longing. It also serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of freedom and the innate connection between all living beings and the natural world. The Selkie, with their ability to navigate both land and sea, remind us of the delicate balance between our own desires and the needs of others, challenging us to live in harmony with the world around us. In the rich tapestry of Scottish folklore, the Selkie holds a place of honor a guardian of the sea and a bearer of timeless tales of love, freedom and the bittersweet dance between two worlds. Through the whispers of the wind and the call of the ocean, the Selkie story continues to be told, a mythical echo of Scotland's wild beauty and the enduring power of folklore to connect us to the world and to each other. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to watch this next video on the top 10 werewolves that you've never heard of.